Hi, this is Tom Moore with AWS. Today we're going to talk about using Amazon's Cloud Endure to migrate your servers to AWS. In this video, we're going to talk about what Cloud Endure is, how it works, and how it helps you migrate your servers to AWS. We'll then walk through how to get set up with Cloud Endure. We'll let Cloud Endure migrate a couple of servers in my home network to AWS. And finally, we'll have a look at the results of the migration. Cloud Endure is a service that helps you migrate your on-prem infrastructure to AWS. Cloud Endure migration is an agent-based solution. You can migrate legacy applications as well as all applications and databases that run on supported versions of Windows and Linux operating systems. This includes Windows Server versions 2003, 2008, 2012, 2016, 2019, and Linux distributions such as CentOS, Red Hat, Oracle Linux, SUSE Linux, Ubuntu, and Debian. Cloud Endure migration supports common databases including Oracle and SQL Server, as well as mission critical applications such as SAP. Implementation begins by installing the Cloud Endure agent onto the source machines. The agent then connects to a self-service web-based Cloud Endure user console. The console then connects to your AWS account and builds out a staging area to receive your replication data. The staging area consists of a lightweight elastic cloud compute or EC2 instances that act as replication servers. These servers write the replication data to low cost EBS volumes. Each of the source disks is mapped to an identically sized low cost EBS volume in the staging area. A single replication server can handle multiple source machines replicating concurrently. After your disks have been successfully replicated, the Cloud Endure agent continues to track and replicate changes to the source disk. This happens with continuous asynchronous block level replication, which allows replication of any applications that are running on supported x86 based operating systems. Customers configure target machine blueprints in the Cloud Endure console, which defines where each machine should be launched and how it should be provisioned at the time of test or cutover. When the target machines are launched, Cloud Endure spins up a temporary machine converter responsible for modifying the target machine to be able to boot and run natively on AWS. This includes injecting appropriate drivers, making necessary bootloader changes, modifying the network adapters, and other stuff required. The process normally takes under a minute and is executed on all launched machines in parallel. There's a getting started guide on our console that you can refer to later. Let's get started and see Cloud Endure in action. From the getting started section on our web page, I want to click on the link to get the free migration license. From here, I can sign up for a Cloud Endure migration license. I can do this by entering my email address and creating a password. Remember to make the password a strong password. Confirm the CAPTCHA and click Continue. A confirmation email will be sent to me with a link that I can use to finish the sign-up process. Here, I have an email from Cloud Endure confirming my email and providing me with a link to complete the registration process. I'm going to click on the link in the email to open up the console. Once I've done this, you can see that my account is now activated and I can sign into the Cloud Endure console.
Once in the console, my next task is to set up the replication project for my servers. Click here to add a new replication project. I'm going to give my project a name. For project type, there are two options. I can choose Disaster Recovery, which is used to continuously replicate my servers to AWS in the event of a DR event. I can then fail over to my AWS infrastructure and then possibly fail back when the event is over. The other option is Migration, where I replicate my servers to AWS and then cut over to the cloud-based servers. With Migration, there's no failing back to the data center. I'm going to choose Migrate here. I'm then going to choose Create Project. I'll close the welcome message. Once my project has been created, I need to complete the setup for connecting to my AWS account. Click Continue here. Cloudender provides you with a template of the permissions required for it to be able to replicate to your servers in AWS. Click here to get a copy of the template. Next, we're going to have to set up an IAM user and a policy for Cloudender to use. Let's go to the AWS console now and set that up. I'm going to select the Identity and Access Management, or IAM, service. From here, I'm going to create a new policy based off the required Cloud Endure permissions. And I will give the policy a name. Next, I'm going to create an IAM user. I'm going to select the option for programmatic access only because this user doesn't have to log into the AWS console. I'm going to select the option here to attach the policy that I just created. The next thing I need to do is copy the access key and the secret key so that I can use them in Cloudender. Remember to always keep the access key and secret keys private, as they will provide access to your AWS account if they're compromised. Next, I'm going to go back to the Cloudender console and enter in the values. The next thing for me to do is configure my replication settings. I'm going to leave all the other settings as default and click Save Replication Settings. Finally, I have all the details necessary for me to use to connect my servers 
to the Cloud Endure console. I'm going to note the installation commands for both Windows and Linux for later use, as well as recording a copy of my agent installation token, which will help the agent connect to the particular instance of the Cloud Endura console and allow me to do replication. The next thing for me to do is to install the agent onto the machines that I want to migrate. I've logged into a Windows Server 2019 test server, and I'll install the agent now. Once the Cloud Endure agent has been installed, I can see in the Cloud Endure web console that one machine has been created and the initial sync has been kicked off. I can monitor the progress here in the machines window. I'm going to allow this to continue its process and set up the initial synchronization of my server. After a while, I can see that Cloud Endure has successfully replicated my machine to my account. I can see here that one of my machines requires my attention. Looking at my machines, I can see that continuous data replication has been enabled and that the initial snapshot of my machine has been published. However, this machine is flagged as having never been tested. The next step is to test launch the machine. I'm going to click Launch Target Machine, and then I'm going to select Test Mode. I can see here a warning indicating that I'm going to launch a test machine into my AWS Service Console. I'm going to click Continue. I'll now wait for the test machine to completely finish spinning up, and then we'll look at my AWS Console. Here in the AWS Console, I can see that Cloud Endure has the replication server spun up in my account. This is a server that my local servers are connecting to and replicating their disks to AWS. I can also see that since clicking and enabling the test server to, to start up, I can see a migration machine converter that is running in my account. This is the instance that, that does the work of converting the image from an image that would run on my local network to one that runs in AWS. I'll allow this to continue doing its work and then finish spinning up the test instance in my account. After a short period of time, you can see that the machine converter has been terminated and the new Windows machine is being spun up in my account now. Once this machine passes its status checks, we should be able to log in and see the machine in action. Now that the replication is completed, I can see here I have a, a Windows instance that is running along with a public IP address and a public DNS. I'm going to copy the, the address and bring up Remote Desktop to make my connection to the server. 
I'll type in the password that I used on the machine when it was running locally. And I can log into the machine. One final note, once a Windows server is migrated via Cloudender, the license for that instance gets automatically converted to license included. Thank you. I hope this video has been helpful.